Dr. Barbara Blackburn, and I am very excited to be presenting at the Australia Council for Educational Leaders Conference in early October. I am particularly excited because I've never been to Australia before, so I'm really looking forward to learning from you as we have time to talk. What I'll be talking about is rigor. What is rigor and what does it look like in the classroom? You may be thinking that rigor means more work, and that's not it at all. Rigor is about depth, not coverage. It's about quality, not quantity. And what we're really going to be looking at is the fact that rigor is creating an environment in which each student is expected to learn at high levels, each student is supported so he or she can learn at high levels, and each student demonstrates learning at high levels. So let me just give you one example. Each student is expected to learn at high levels. You typically know that when you observe teachers, they should be asking higher order questions. We all understand that. But did you know that if the teacher asks a higher order question and accepts a low level answer, that's not rigorous? It's not enough to ask the question. What we have to do is provide the support so that students really do demonstrate their understanding at a high level. One of my breakout sessions will be on tools that leaders can use to increase rigor in their schools. Uh, let me give you a couple of real quick suggestions. First, you want to celebrate success. As you are in your classrooms, whether you are visiting, doing walkthroughs, doing formal observations, take a picture or a video of something that a teacher is doing that is rigorous, and then at your next faculty meeting, throw it up on the screen. And as teachers come in, they get to see an example of something that's rigorous. Once everybody's seated, ask the teacher who did the activity to stand up and name it, claim it as his or hers, and explain it. And it's a great way not only to celebrate what somebody has done and to encourage more, but also to sort of uh, prompt other teachers to do more rigorous work. Now one caution, don't just throw it up on the screen without telling the teacher. It's much more helpful if they are not surprised. Second, you want to provide time for teachers to work together. Uh, this is very difficult. There are so many pressing concerns, but you also know it's not productive for teachers to work after school. So you want to try to find ways to provide them time so that they can look at lessons together and determine ways to increase the rigor. So that they can look at tasks, tests, and other assessments and determine if they are rigorous enough and if not, how to improve them. And they also need time simply to look at student work and determine if it is rigorous enough. I hope these couple of ideas have given you a starting point. Again, I look forward to seeing you at the conference for the Australia Council for Educational Leaders. And if you'd like to take a peek at my work before I come, then you can visit my website at www.barbarablackburnonline.com.